I'm Dennis Bragg on the Salmon River. The weather and the terrain continue to be a challenge for fighting the moose fire, but that's where firefighters are turning to unique tools from the air to battle the flames. Fighting fire on the salmon is a serious case of up and down, aggravated by high winds and triple digit temps. Hot, dry conditions. Uh, we had a red flag warning the other day, and that resulted in uh, column development here behind me in Bobcat Gulch. Those fiery columns are the wildest part of wildfire. Uncontrolled bursts of flame clawing across the hillside, threatening efforts to protect homes and traffic along the Highway 93 corridor. Veteran fire managers have told me the real challenge of fighting a blaze in this salmon country is how rugged the terrain is. Some of these gulches, like Bobcat Gulch, act just like chimneys, with the westerly winds coming down and fanning the flames. That's why the aerial attack is such an important tool. The moose isn't a retardant fire, at least right now. Instead, it's hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. So on this side, we're using tactics to bring it down towards the river with more moderate fire behavior so that it doesn't run up the hill and cause columns and spotting. Depending on tools that didn't exist when the Mustang complex burned more than 300,000 acres just north of here a decade ago. So we have a UAS module here on the fire. Uh, it's a small drone. Uh, it's operated remotely. It uses a plastic sphere dispenser, or ping pong we call it, uh, containing chemicals that react and when they fall on the ground they light small fires uh, that help us have a better control over how the fire comes down the hill. Even from this far away, you can hear the pop, pop, pop of those incendiary ping pong balls as the drone drops them across the face of the fire in terrain no firefighter could reach. For hour after hour, the UAS crew flies missions, refilling batteries and the fire starting chemicals, safely coordinating with other aircraft. That gives traditional ground crews a fighting chance to do their jobs safely. The way fire goes downhill is because burning material rolls, right? Logs, pine cones, branches. They catch on fire, they tumble down the hill, and they light something on fire at the bottom. And since fire likes to go uphill, and it burns uphill fast, after you have the rollout, then you have an uphill run. On the Moose Fire, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.